So to those of you that understand, thank you. And those of you that are disappointed, I understand. And thank you. And thank you. <laughs> um, because if you were like rooting for us, like, you know, you were going to quit and just go for it. That's awesome. I agree. Would have been. Would have been awesome. Would have been fantastic. But we're just. After a year, I was finally coming around to the idea that, that this was going to happen. <laughs> so. It's just too hard right now. Yeah. And we're not like financially, like, like I said, like we got, we got some bills that are from this year that we got to pay off and. When your income is a big old question mark, like that's, and, and, and stuff just isn't get, getting any cheaper. I mean, I'll just say it, having a baby in the NICU for two months, um, those bills kind of throw a wrench in your plans. Yeah. So that's, and I'm having a big surgery in a couple of weeks. That's so, yep. um, you know, we're looking at a decent amount of medical bills and, I've already gotten some calls from some debt collectors and things like that, so. Inside of the city, the people are crazy. Out of their minds, they ain't got a clue. We gone away, headed west for Montana. Left family and friends, all I got now is you. We both got new jobs, a house and a homestead, thinking this was the life, all that there'd be. After our firstborn, you had to stay home. That's when the work got in the way for me. Well, I started farm hop life. We'll come to your farm to help and to want. Me and the family, a truck and an RV, send us a message and there will be. This is the Farm Hop Life Podcast, episode nine. I'm Matt. I'm Katie. Um, we're tired. <laughs> it's, uh, late. it's late. I made a coffee at 8 p.m. and took a nap. It's good. It's a good plan. Um, and uh, we're excited, nervous. Kind of feel like I want to throw up. <laughs> I feel like so. I was talking to my mom this morning about how our day has gone. I feel like I woke up this morning, had a good morning, drank some coffee, and then we played fifty-two card pickup with our life. <laughs> Just like. A little bit. Like, now what? So, um, let's explain. So, the 20 by 23 project is something that I came up with to really kickstart Farm Hop Life. Um, it is, the goal is to help 20 homesteads in the year 2023. Pretty self-explanatory. Uh, some people struggle with it, not sure how, but anyways... Yeah. Um, so like there was on our website, there's like a, like what you get and like what we get. So like you would get like 20 hours of my time, 10 hours of Katie's time, you know, unlimited children time. Ha ha ha. And Milo loves to help play in the dirt. Yep. So. Yep. And then and pick tomatoes if he can eat them. Yeah. It was like expertise and connections and and then stuff that we get would be like a place to park our truck and trailer and you know like a um meal together every every evening and or every morning we're big breakfast people that's true so. um <laughs> permission to record uh video and take pictures and you know being respectful of your privacy still and there's something else. I don't know. There was just, it's pretty basic. Pretty basic. Maybe some water. Trades. For the trailer. <laughs> Maybe some water. Yeah. Yeah. Can we dump our compost toilet? 
content somewhere. No, we'll take that off your phone. We don't need to see that on your phone. Unless you want it, then we'll leave it. But, but drinking water would be appreciated. Yeah. Um, so it's simple. And we were thinking, and it, it was going to kick off April 1st. Because that was my last day of work. I put in a 12-month notice um, to give give my current employer time to find somebody new. Because if, uh, if I left, there's only there's only going to be the owner and his son. <laughs> so um, it is, we are n- nine months later. Yep. Um, lots changed. And... Over the summer, I had gotten an email to apply to, for a grant through Jobber. And Jobber is an app for like handyman services, which is I, I, I did very briefly. It's like, oh, let's check this out. And that, you like, you don't need to use Jobber to apply, blah, blah, blah. So I applied and kind of forgot about it. Well, a couple of weeks later, it's like, you've been selected for round two. And I was like, oh, Oh dang! And then it, you can get like twenty or twenty five thousand. I think was like the first place prize. Yep. I, don't, I don't remember I exactly. Right. So I went through and like took it pretty seriously. Um, on all right, let's let's make farm hop life a thing. And in the show, not in the show notes, but like you know, on the website, I'll I'll list some answers. Because we, we wrote out a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff. So it made me more excited. It made me more excited. It helped me define the goals. And it's how I came up with the 20 by 23 project to like give it a name. Like, well, 10 would be cool. Like, we could easily do 10. And I'm like thinking, let's just do 20. Let's just double it. <laughs> And the, plus, this it is, sounds better. This, this, this is Matt's brain. <laughs> it why, just sounds better. Why do you easy? Yeah. Yeah. 20, 23. Always. Always. There. So that's that's how that came to be. Um, I did not get the grant. Uh, I was not selected to go to round three. Um, we're just too cool for them. <laughs> yeah, that's what happened. Too and, cool for them. And so... I was like, okay, how are we going to how are we going to make this work? And by how are we going to make this work, he means where is the money coming from? Yeah. <laughs> Still don't know. Um <laughs> So your next idea was well, something happened at work and I thought I was going to lose my job. I won't go into it again. I've said it Probably too many times. Once was too many times. <laughs> <laughs> and so I I came up with this idea to do like a t-shirt promo thing. I broke my own rule in which that I wasn't going to like try to do any sort of fundraising sooner than a year. Whoops. Well, when you feel like you're going to lose your job, you kind of panic. And that's what happened. Um, I tried. It was like five t-shirts over the course of five weeks. I was only gonna. I only ran each shirt for the week, but um, I had some orders, not a lot. In the end, like it failed, but it was like it was a fun learning experience. Um, didn't have like a ton invested into it, thankfully, but still still too much so anyways let let that one let that one go and got some cool shirts out of it though. got some cool shirts out of it i'm wearing one right now um that you can't see cool <laughs> um good job and so i had some i had some, <laughs> I had some friends over it was your it was your baby shower yep it was your baby shower for Lila, and one of my friends is like, "Hey, how? Why don't you should apply to 
be like a field engineer. So, you know, I'm the I'm the operations manager. It'd be cool to work together and knowing a little bit about his job. And I'm like, no. <laughs> uh, right away, no. <laughs> he travels too much. Like I want to be home. And so that was that was kind of it. Well, fast forward to like a month ago. Yeah, about a month ago, he asked me again. And again, I said no. But then late that evening, we talked about it. And he I'm came like, home Maybe? and said he got told about this job and immediately dismissed it. And I was like, well, what, what is the job? Like, what are we talking about here? And he's like, no. Like, so you didn't even look into it or ask any questions before you said no? I was like, mm-mm. Why did I do that? So then we actually, like, read the job description, asked some questions. That's a lot of questions. It helps that you're friends with the guy. Yep. But turns out it's not such a bad job. The job itself is very interesting. The company seems cool. The technology that they use is cool. And so I was like... And, 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 what's, what's the big... Big thing you get to do with your job. Travel? Travel. <laughs> get to potentially travel. Yeah. And potentially me and the kids can go with. Which is a huge deal. Um, but, you know, it was kind of like, okay, so you know the guy, but you're also not interviewing with just him. Mm-hmm. His boss. There's lots of other applicants. Let's just throw your hat in there. Yeah. And so, um, yeah, the opportunities fell in my lap. And I researched the job pretty hard. I like, because the technology is kind of advanced. And uh, I went into interview. I think I thought I did okay. Um, There's a couple of parts that I really flubbed, but did okay. And I missed out on the first job opening. And it was, like, apparently it was me against somebody with a master's degree. I'm a two-time college dropout, so that felt pretty cool that it was me versus <laughs> uh, someone with a master's degree. Um, and I, I figured that was it. That was done. It was over. I knew that there was another job opening, but I figured if I didn't make this one, then I wasn't going to make the next one. So a few weeks go by, and we were really getting worried about the, like the whole situation. Like, we were looking more seriously at finally getting our trailer, and getting the financing for that. And, you know, like we're coming up on four ish months mm-hmm. until you're out of the job. And like, what do we? What is our plan? Like, we know our plan. What is our backup plan if the plan doesn't work? Like, where's the money coming from? We have bills to pay. We've got two kids. Like, you can't just completely wing it. I mean, you can wing it to a certain extent. But you need to have a plan to make sure that there's food in their bellies. And, like, we didn't have a backup plan. So we're sitting and we're talking last night? Last night. Yeah. Sitting and talking last night about... What are we going to do? What's our backup plan? What does it look like if plan A sucks? And we didn't really have an answer. And that was kind of scary. It was like... uh, How would you even describe it? It was just kind of like, well, we can sell a bunch of stuff. Yep. Kind of plan. That's yep. how we're going to pay for it. Sell like, all your belongings. There's like, oh, there's all these tools that uh, I'm not really using. And she's like, don't you need that to finish a basement? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I do need don't, all those don't tools Don't you need to that for the, the fence? Basement. Don't you need that for this? Yeah. Don't you need that for this? Talking about selling your car come... January. January. Um, stuff like that. So not like great solutions. And then... I get, I go to work today and I get an email offering me the job, the second position. So the guy with the master's degree got the first one and they offered me 
the second position. And I'm like, I text Katie. I'm like, holy F. <laughs> Literally, that's what I said. And With a picture of the email so I could know why he was saying that. And it felt like like a sign. You know, like, well, you literally last night we were talking, how are we going to do this? How are we going to do that? We have all this, like, you know, bills to catch up on and whatnot. How are I you felt like I was having a heart attack. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about a sign. More like a heart attack. Heart attack's a sign. Is it? For some people. Okay. Um, and so, I'm like, I feel like we got to take it. We talked about it for... 20 30 minutes yeah. and i i'm like i we went back to like the pros and cons list from the first time and like granted like the job is cool it i mean if you had if you had no family or you and your wife worked or reversed you know i think um, if you didn't have kids it wouldn't even be a conversation you'd be like yes because it's doing it, it says Let's 30 go. to 50 percent travel yeah and so that being away from home, that sucks. Yeah. But thinking back about the pros and cons list, the pros are huge and the cons are mild to moderate. Yeah. Like, it, this job solves a lot of issues, but it creates new issues. Yep. And hurdles we're going to have to, we're going to have to figure out. But one of the big ones is that won't feel like we're struggling so bad just to just to get by i don't know about everybody else but uh it sucks out there yeah everything everything got a little more expensive this last year so um like we were already kind of pinching pennies we've always been good about having a budget and living within our means and this last year it's been real hard to stay in that limit so um I mean, we've dipped into our savings a couple times, which is something I'm really against doing unless we absolutely have to. So, I mean, it's scary to think about you're not going to have a job. We're already kind of struggling to get by. Like, what are we going to do? And then here's this opportunity to make significantly more money but it comes at a cost mm-hmm. of Matt potentially not being here full time in Montana. So, and it's it was not an easy decision to just say yes. No. Like it, like it means that this whole thing, like Farm Hop Life and the Twenty by Twenty Three project, looks a lot different. And we might be going back to the 10 by 23 project. <laughs> 10, no? 10, 24, I don't know. We can do 10, 23. We'll see. We'll, um, so, like, what I wanted to, like, what I wanted to say was, like, you know, I told my, I talked to my dad. I'm like, I finally get, you know, being gone so much like you you wanted to just be home be with the kids but you had to take opportunities to to provide and I didn't think I would be one of those but now I am so you said you're turning into your dad I'm basically my dad (laughs) basically turning into your father and like it's cool it's it's the right decision for right now. Yep. So. Just just hard. And like life is hard enough and sometimes it's okay to take the easy way out. This easy. is not the easy way out. This like I'm saying easily like easy like finance. Like oh. financially, this is the easy way. Easy no, way. financially, the easy way is to sell our house. That's true. But so. is that really easy right now? <laughs> yes. Still? Yeah. Hmm. 
Everybody wants to live where Yellowstone is filmed. That's true. This is like the place to be. So. It still doesn't sound that easy. Maybe it is. Super easy. Well. Anyways. Second easy option is. The job. Is the job that pays more. And, you know, it does, like, I feel kind of like, like I copped out in that taking this instead of, you know, really making a go at Farm Hop Life next year. Like, really hit, like, what I wanted to do, hit the ground running. Yeah, but sometimes opportunities just fall in your lap. And you have to take advantage of those. Like, my last job before I quit to stay home with Milo, that job literally fell in my lap. Like, the guy who ran the airport came and got coffee from me because I ran the coffee shop at the airport. And he's like, by the way, nobody knows, but we're going to be hiring again soon. And so I, I had time to, like, contemplate it, get my stuff together, and apply. And, like, I was kind of a shoe-in for the job. And I was not shocked when I got the job. Like, I knew everybody who worked in the building. And one of the hiring managers asked me three times if I had applied yet. You know, like, that was kind of a sign that I needed to stop running coffee shops, get a grown-up job, and still work at Delta. Yeah. Because that's fun. That's, but, that was wild times. Yeah. But I mean, like, that opportunity literally fell in my lap. I did nothing to go look for it. And the same thing happened with this. Like, sometimes you have to just take what the universe is putting in your space. Mm-hmm. Right? Yeah. Does that sound too hippy trippy? Yeah. Listen to the universe. That's not me. I'm the opposite of that person, but um I'm not I am that person. Oh yeah. <laughs> You're just, a hippie? Just a little bit. Yeah. Oh, okay. Alright. Yeah. All right. So it's gonna make it's gonna make our all of our plans with Farm Hop Life look different for next year. And we don't know what different means yet, but it's definitely gonna look different. And it may turn into spending some weekends at some farms. We'll just cram all 20 hours into Saturday and Sunday. 10 hour days. I mean... I'm bam, not, bam, let's go. I'm not really opposed to that. I mean, if we, can, if we can go somewhere for Friday, Saturday, Sunday and legitimately help somebody knock something off their to-do list, let's go. Like, I think that would be fine. And we have the opportunity to also travel wherever Matt's traveling and potentially bring a travel trailer with us so that we could help people when he's not at work on site. So there's options. We just don't know exactly how it's going to work yet. So to those of you... That understand, thank you. And those of you that are disappointed, I understand. And thank you. And thank you. Because <laughs> um, if you're like rooting for us, like, you know, you were going to quit and just go for it, that's awesome. I agree. Would have been. Would have been awesome. Would have been fantastic. But we're just. After a year, I was finally coming around to the idea that, that this was going to happen. <laughs> so It's just too hard right now. Yeah. And we're not, like, financially, like like I said, like, we got, we got some bills that are from this year that we got to pay off. And when your income is a big old question mark, like, that's, and, and, and stuff just isn't get, getting any cheaper. I mean, I'll just say it, having a baby in the NICU for two months, um, those bills kind of throw a wrench in your plans. Yeah. So, that's, and I'm having 
a big surgery in a couple of weeks. So, yeah. um, you know, we're looking at a decent amount of medical bills and I've already gotten some calls from <laughs> some debt collectors and things like that. So it's not fun. Yep. We tapped into the credit card a little too heavy this year and. But so. those sky miles, though. <laughs> no? <laughs> we don't even think we used those miles to fly anywhere this year. So Yeah, we're going to have a new nice job. We can afford to go on vacation. Maybe. Look at us go. Hawaii, here afford... we come. No. Okay. <laughs> so, unless we can do a farm hop thing. <gasps> okay. <laughs> So, now what? Honestly, not sure. Uh, we're still going to make a go of it, as the Brits say. Just not the same way. Yep. And we need a little bit of time for Matt to get his footing at his new job. Yeah, I to need figure to figure out what this is going to look like. But I need to, like, kind of assess how things operate at this new job and... What your hours look Go from like. There. Yeah. <laughs> All those things. So. I don't think I've ever had a job where I was salaried. You're this growing up. My first one. I don't like it. This is dumb. I had a salaried job when I was 23. And I worked way too hard, but there was free coffee, so I didn't care. <laughs> well, I don't, not, I don't really have anything else. Did you have anything else for. I don't think so. We're going to figure it out. We're going to keep on it because maybe, like, like I think I'm going to like the job. It just comes with a lot of struggles and setback for farm hop life. But they might get hit with a recession, I don't know, and end up firing me. So I better keep <laughs> farm hop life going. <laughs> As a backup plan. I don't think that it means... I don't think that this job means that farm hop life is stopping. I don't think so. I don't want it to. I think that it means that how it's going to look is going to change a little bit in the immediate future. But, like, the end goal is to get to a point where financially we can... Just hit the road. And that is definitely not this year. Or the next year. <laughs> but but soon. We still want to get out there and help people. However we can. Yeah. Whenever we can. Use my new PTO to basically go to work. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the work I like. So... Anyways, I appreciate, appreciate you guys listening. Where's my podcast? I think I have one. Yep, I got my notes up this time. <laughs> so uh, thank you for listening and thank you for watching. Uh, let me know what you think. Leave a comment, like, subscribe, share this video. You can find us on all the podcast players. Probably all of them, unless there's some weird ones. Tell me about it. I'll, <laughs> I'll list it on there. Tell me about it. Uh, you can check us out at farmhoplife.com. Sign up for our email list or Telegram channel there to be notified when new videos, interviews, and podcasts are available. We are on YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, and MeWe. You can email me anytime, matt at farmhoplife.com. And I'm always looking for new people to interview if we want to come on to talk about homesteading, farming, food security, homeschooling, regenerative agriculture, alternative building methods. Go to farmhoplife.com slash guest. That's it. You gotta say the end part. I'm not saying the end part. Go feed yourself. <laughs> Bye. Inside of the city, the people are crazy. Out of their minds, they ain't got a clue. We gone away, headed west for Montana. Left family and friends, all I got now is you. We both got new jobs, a host and a homestead, thinking this was the life, all that there'd be. After our first
first barn you had to stay home. That's when the work got in the way for me. Well, I started farm hop life. Welcome to your farm to help and to wander. Me and the family, a truck and an RV, send us a message and there 